Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a quicker video than normal and that's because I just wanted to go over some really cool information we got regarding the new Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. We finally got a name for it as well as the story writer and the main artist. And that name is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG Stories. So this is the same manga that Sky Striker uh, Ray is featured in. We got her silhouetted. And we had been hoping here on this channel and I think throughout the broader Yu-Gi-Oh! community that there were going to be multiple lore stories focused around multiple different archetypes and that it wasn't just going to be a two or three year long manga focusing on the solely on the Sky Striker archetype and that is exactly what we are getting. Um, OCG Stories, the plural there, Stories confirms that there are going to be um, multiple stories told, uh, multiple different archetypes featured, which is really, really cool. Just yesterday Yesterday, I did a video talking about five archetypes I would love to see appear in this manga and of course that was before we had any sort of official confirmation that there would be multiple stories so this is really exciting news you can see you can see the promo art on screen there uh, this is a colored panel of Ray drawn by Naohito Miyoshi known from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal and Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 manga so that is the artist that will be doing the art for this manga he did the art for the Zexal manga he did the art for the Arc 5 manga and I also believe he played an integral part in helping or creating with the character designs for Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. Now, I'm not sure if that is for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 anime and manga or just for the Arc 5 manga, but he did play a really big part in the Zexal and Arc 5 days. Don't think he's done anything since Arc 5, and even though I know it seems like that wasn't too long ago, uh, Arc 5 was like six, seven years ago at this point, so he's been out of Yu-Gi-Oh! for a little bit, but I think he is a really solid artist, and it's cool to see him being the main uh, artist of this manga. Now, the writer has come out, and uh, before I get to the writer, planning support is Konami Digital Entertainment, so that kind of indicates to me that Konami is going to have a, a big hand and a big oversight over this manga. The main writer, and I've already seen a lot of you know, uh, arguments, and, uh, you know, hopefully it won't be the case here in the comments, but the main artist is uh, Shin Yoshida. Uh, if you're newer to my channel, if you're newer to Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, that name might not mean too much to you, uh, but Shin Yoshida has been a part of almost every single Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. The only Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that Yoshida did not work on in some capacity was Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. He was the main writer um, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, he was the main writer for Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, and he took over as main writer after Dark Signers and 5Ds. I think he did the final season of GX as well, and Doma of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. He also was the main, um, writer for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal manga, and for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 manga. So, of course, the last work that he touched was Vrains in the anime, and Arc 5's manga, which... Arc 5, I thought, had a very good manga. I thought Zexel's manga was really good. The only aspect of the Arc 5 manga that I wasn't the biggest fan of was the ending. Um, I don't necessarily think the ending was as bad as some people think it was because, uh, you know, it's not the anime characters. It's not like Yuya and Yuzu had a really close romantic relationship or implication in the manga as much as they did in the anime. But still, there were some shots in that manga that made the whole reveal of Yuzu actually being Yuya's mom a little strange. It was a trope in Back to the Future. I'm not the biggest fan of that trope in general, but it's not like it's the first time we've ever seen that trope. And all in all, I think Yoshida is, is a fine writer. Uh, I think he writes a lot of things well. The one thing that he does not write well, and this is the really fascinating part, and I think this is the part that has most people a little concerned, is he's not a very good writer when it comes to writing girl characters. Now, to be fair, I think Yuzu in Arc 5 was one of the mi worst mistreated girl characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, and he had nothing to do with Arc 5. So, so it's not like you remove Yoshida from the equation and all of a sudden you have these incredibly strong and gifted and well-treated and written girl characters. Now, I thought Sevens did a phenomenal job, very good step in the right direction for the franchise as a whole, but I'm talking about Studio Gallop Yu-Gi-Oh! That seemed to be something that was there at the studio more than Yoshida directly, and I think he probably gets 
maybe a little too much unfair blame for that, but that being said, he's acknowledged that he's not good with girl characters, and he's not great with girl characters. Sky Striker Ray is a girl. Sky Striker Rose, which is, I believe, like her main rival, is a girl. So, kind of interesting that Konami picked him to do this manga, and equally as interesting, in my opinion, that Yoshida said, yes, I want to do this manga. I really do wonder if this is him maybe trying to take a risk here, step a little bit outside of his comfort zone, and improve. You know, try to prove to some people that he has improved as a writer, especially when it comes to girl characters. And I think this is the perfect setting to do it in, because all he has to do is follow the main gist of the lore for all of these stories. You follow the main gist of the lore, you can add in some extra personality, you can add in some extra dialogue, maybe you can even add in some extra lore, but the main story is already pretty much there for him. He's just got to kind of expand on it, and I think in a situation like that, I think he's going to do a very good job. Again, I do not view Yoshida in the same light that a lot of people in the community do, where he, I think he's this horrible writer, because he, he's just not. I mean, he was a big part of five of the six Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, uh, pretty much every Studio Gallop anime, and actually, the only one that he wasn't a part of, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, is one of my least favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. So, I don't view him as this horrible writer. There's tropes that he does that got pretty repetitive, especially, you know, when you've watched all of his shows and you get on to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. And, of course, the girl characters are not the best strength of his, but I think this is going to be fine. I, I, you bring in a veteran writer, someone who's familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh!, someone who's worked on Yu-Gi-Oh! for many, many years, decades at this point. I think it was a, a good decision. I think it was a safer decision than a lot of people think, but that's just my opinion on it. I think people that don't love his writing style, I think they're completely valid. Uh, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's just what you prefer, and if you didn't like Vrayans, and if you didn't like the Arc 5 manga and you hated what happened at the end, the last two products that Yoshida has been a part of didn't leave the best taste in your mouth. So, like, I, I completely get it. But at the end of the day, he is writing this manga. This is a manga that I'm probably going to be trying to review every month, the chapters, because a lore-based manga is incredibly interesting to me. So, guys, let me know your thoughts on this news. Let me know if you're excited that we're getting multiple stories. And let me know some archetypes that you would like to see covered in this manga down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. A special thank you to my Platinum Tier Patrons, Panther J, Blue Maiden 28, and Jarrett Bueller, and to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jesse Wood and Latrell Smith, and to my Egyptian God Tier Patrons, Kakapakapu and Sin Cloud. To everyone who supports me on Patreon, and to everyone who is a YouTube channel member, thank you so much. The extra support means the world to me, and it allows me to make videos on a semi-daily basis, and I am forever indebted to you guys seriously thank you so much and definitely check out my channel membership feature and my patreon for some extra channel perks and thank you guys all so much for watching please leave your thoughts down below in the comment section be sure to check out my channel for some more Yu-Gi-Oh anime content and i hope you have an amazing day take care guys